As the great Joel Meyerowitz says, an amazing photographer, a camera gives you a license to see. If I ask you to name your favorite painters, you will probably be able to do it. But if I ask you what are your favorite photographers, you might struggle, won't you? Living in Andorra, a little paradise on Earth, gives me a unique vision that great things can be done from small places. As you have understood at this point, photography is my passion. I eat it for lunch, for breakfast, and for dinner, not necessarily in that order. As soon as I moved to Andorra, I asked myself if people attend to concerts and they travel far away also to go to great restaurants. If I put together great exhibitions in Andorra, they would probably also come to see photography. I then had an eureka moment and decided to follow my gallerist passion, organizing exhibitions that would have the same level that the exhibitions you would be able to see in New York, Paris, or London. Together with my wife, Michelle, we opened Alta in September 2021. The name came up quite easily since the gallery is located in an altitude of 1,342 meters above sea level. We decided to show only what we love, provoking and stimulating a dialogue between photography, the inhabited spaces, nature, and sharing the experience we have of the medium. Our first show was Vivian Meyer. At the same time, we opened the Musée de Luxembourg in Paris, opened as well a Vivian Meyer exhibition, and, went there, and then we thought that was serendipity. The next show was Joel Maravich, one of the great photographers in the world, the pioneer of color, an amazing artist, one of the greats, and a fantastic human being. By the way, Joel Marovich has just opened a show in Tate Modern a few, a few days ago about the question of color. These are just a few examples that with hard work, passion, and perseverance, you can achieve great things, climb high mountains, and reach the stars. From our paradise in Andorra, we get to reach the photographic stars and that shine in the photography world. We also believe slow is beautiful. The artists deserve to be shown in longer periods of time in order to be able to promote them and to give enough time to share their work and their vision to a wider audience. Normally, exhibitions in big cities last six weeks. In our case, we show them for around four months. And every exhibition is a gift that we offer to ourselves and to the community. Our gallery has become as well a platform for real life encounters. A crossroad for artists, art lovers, books, and ideas. Thanks to the gallery, we have met amazing people and made great friends from all over the world. Photography is everywhere. We are all photographers. We've become photographers. We all carry smartphones on our pockets. But more education is needed. This is why we are really happy to co collaborate with schools in Andorra to share our knowledge in the medium to children. Let's remember that photography plays a very important role in our society and it's important to know about it in order to understand its codes. I have chosen a few photographs with the hope that things you discover in them will encourage you to open your eyes and your mind so that you can see the world around you in a new way. This first picture was shot by an Al Albanian and then nationalized American photographer in 1939. It's a picture of a high jumper, an Olympian, an American Olympian. This picture is important for several reasons. It is important from an aesthetic point of view. It's obviously very plastician, very wonderfully lit. And 
what's interesting about this picture is that you can see this man jumping, and that moment in time, it's perfectly frozen. Back in the day, 1939, film was really slow, and it was really hard to freeze um, sports. John Milley, together with Harold Edgerton, invented a new way of lighting named stroboscopic. And this allowed him to portray images in movement in a fantastic way. It also gives you other information about the era, when you see the shoes that this athlete is wearing, and when you see the way he's actually jumping. So this was before, way before the jumping backwards, that's called Firstbury. So photography is a window that allows you to see the past. And this particular picture is important, as I said, not only from an aesthetic point of view, but also from a historical point of view. This next picture was shot by Bruce Davidson, another amazing photographer. Um, one of the first photographers that became a member of Magnum Agency. You see in this picture several pictures at the same time. It's obviously shot from inside a bus, but through the windows you see other pictures. There are several actions that are happening at the same time with this beautiful light coming in. This picture was shot during the uh, American civil rights movement. It is then a political image and it also shows how photography um, transports you in time and gives you the information that not many other mediums would be able to give you. When you think about it, photography was invented 185 years ago. And since then, most things have been photographed. So it's a fantastic tool to know about ourselves, about our history. This next picture, shot by Joel Marovich, named Camel Coats, it was shot in New York City in 1975. As I said before, Joel Marovich is the pioneer of color. Back in the day, only black and white photography was considered serious photography. Color was used only for advertising and for vernacular photography. Families would use color photography just to take pictures of themselves. Joel, Mar Joel Marovich was instrumental to make color photography be respected and be exhibited in museums. And he is one of the most important photographers alive. He's considered one of the best street photographers. And this, this image is a miracle. One of the things that photography gives you, it's that it pushes your uh, capacity of observation. What are the chances that you're walking in New York and you see a couple wearing this coat? And that the coat is camel coat. This is the color of the coat. And at the same time, there are two other people next to them wearing the same coat with the same color. What are the chances? And you can see the shadow of the couple projected on the couple, on, on, on the people walking next to the couple, and the city, and the self-portrait of Joel Maravich himself when in the shadow in between the couple. It's, it's one of these magical images that are happening continuously around us but that we need to be alert in order to see it. This is why he says that a camera gives you the license to see. This next picture is one of my favorite ones. It was shot by Saul Leiter, a photographer and a painter. It was, it was discovered recently um, through his archive. Um, back in the day, he didn't consider it important. Um, he was quite a messy artist, so he would lose important photographs. And uh, this has been rediscovered recently by the state. Look at these wonderful images. What is the information that this image is giving you? First of all, it's telling you that back in the day, this probably was shot in the 60s, people were dressed very nicely, very sharp. That was a normal way to do. Another thing that you can um, realize, looking at these pictures, how design was important back then. Look at this beautiful car. We are in the Moto Museum, and we have been able to see these beautiful motorcycles here. But look at this car. It's just wonderful. The luggage. No logos in the luggage. It's beautiful colors, the palette of colors. The fact that none of the people are being um, photographed, 
this is obviously an Estonian picture, are looking to the camera. And they're not even looking amongst themselves. It's this another moment in time that it's only possible to capture if you give yourself this license to see. One of the great things about our activity in the gallery is that we've been lucky enough to be um, to have been published in many magazines and newspapers all around the world. Although the galleries in Andorra, the articles about our exhibitions have come out in all these beautiful magazines. And this gives, you, gives us the opportunity to de facto become a culture, um, cultural ambassadors of this country, and we are very proud of it. These are some of the exhibitions that we've done since we opened the gallery. So now, I would like to ask you a question, and that would be my conclusion. In the beginning of my speech, I asked you if you would be able to tell me the name of any photographers. I hope that now you'll, you, you will be able to give me some names. And I also encourage you to go out and shoot. It just, as Joel Marriott says, a camera gives you the license to see. And I myself had the courage a few years ago to use this beautiful Rolleiflex camera. And I gave myself the chance to shoot in Madagascar for five days. I remember them being some of the most beautiful and happy days in my life. And I shot this beautiful book. So if I could do it, you can do it. So go out and shoot. Thank you. <laughs>